Good morning you guys, it's Karen and today I'm talking about this. This is the Supergoop CC screen, 100% mineral CC screen, SPF 50, PA++++. Um, I'm testing quite a few sunscreens at the moment, mostly mineral, those are the ones that I like to use. Um, and so I've got quite a few to get through, so you will see more of these. I've, I'm going to review the Elta MD one, the Dermatology one, um, what else? There's another one, Day Defense by BYBI. Um, I've got a couple by Garnier. I found some really good ones, I have to say. And then once I've done a review of each of them, I'll come back and talk about five or six of them together and compare them, etc. Um, but I have already done um, a sunscreen video. I'll link that for you as well, in case you're desperate to get one just now, because the sun is coming out now, isn't it? And so for me, that's the time when I switch generally to a higher SPF, so from 30 to 50, something like that, or 45. So let me tell you about this one. This is an SPF 50, as I said, and it is tinted. This is one where you have a choice of colors because it is a CC cream. So you can see it has got quite a bit of coverage. Even though it says it doesn't, it actually, in the description of this, it says that it doesn't have as much coverage as um, a tinted moisturizer or what else did it mention? I can't remember else, but it, what else, but it said, you know, we don't, it doesn't have quite as much coverage. And I thought this does have quite a lot of coverage. Um, the colors, there's 15 colors to choose from. And I chose, what color is this? 215N. Um, so not the lightest at all. There is a couple way above that, but I, I would say it's a tad darker than I expected. Um, so I think they go slightly on the darker side. Um, however, this is a pretty good color match for me. Um, let me put the video in just now of me applying this. And then also I'll tag on the end of that when I was out walking Watson, I thought I would film in the natural light what it looked like, what the CC cream looked like on its own, except for a bit of powder on top, you know, so I had no foundation or anything. So let me put that in now. Okay, so I'm gonna apply with my fingers. I've put a different one on my neck today just so that I'm only putting this on my face and I think I've already put too much on but you know obviously with it being an SPF you're supposed to put quite a lot on it's one of the few products I can get away with my usual overuse <laughs> I'll put the excess down my neck and I've got my beauty blender here so that you can see um, if it, so that I can blend it in if need be. Do you know it's not actually going on as patchy and I think what it is is I'm doing it ever so slightly different this morning. I put a little bit of moisturizer because I was putting the I've used the day defense SPF on my neck I sort of took it up and over my chin and I just did it around the edges as well because I had a little bit of excess left on my hands. I think it's made this easier to apply. There we go. I'm not sure that even needs blending. I do still think I maybe put a little bit too much on there. Yeah, that was actually easier. I was saying it was too thick and it didn't go on well, but I think with a bit of moisturiser underneath, which does go against the way I like to use SPF, you know, you guys know I normally like to use, I like the SPF to be my moisturizer as well. But if this is gonna count as a foundation, which I think it does, then I won't mind so much because I will put a different SPF underneath the moisturizing one or just a moisturizer and then use this as the SPF. So that's it done. This is the Supergoop CC cream. Um, and I put a bit of powder on top of it, a bit of loose powder, and a bit of powder blush on my eyebrows. That's it, that's all I've got on. It does actually look quite nice from a distance. Let's see how it looks close up. Mm. This one is £34 plus postage and packing. I think, did I get this from Revolve? I can't remember, but I got it easily from the UK. It wasn't a difficult one to get hold of. I'll put the link in the description. Um, 
and that's quite expensive 34 pound it was probably 40 pound in total um, to get this but no there's no buts actually I was gonna say but you don't need to use much but obviously if you're using it for your sunscreen then you need to use a lot um, I have been using this on my neck as well I did use it on my neck which I was a bit uh, reticent to do with it being a CC cream, especially like today where I'm wearing something cream, you know, but I hadn't, haven't noticed it in the time I was using it come off on, in, on clothes or anything like that. Um, this is fragrance free and what else is there to tell you about this? It is, oh, it's zinc oxide 20% and titanium dioxide 4%. So it's not 100% zinc, but it is a high zinc amount, 20%, but it does have titanium dioxide in it. Um, it's non-nano and this is sustainable packaging. They tell you a lot about the packaging on their website. Um, fragrance free can't remember if i said that they do another one called matte screen which is an spf 40 um which i'm guessing is a slightly different formula but i don't actually find this to be a luminous finish or a satin finish or anything like that but i suppose i put i always put powder over whatever i use anyway so maybe i haven't noticed um so let me tell you what i think of this it's a really odd one because i don't like applying it i don't like how it applies but when I've looked at it, for example, in that video um, of me outside and when I've looked in the mirror later on, I think it looks really nice. It actually gives quite a good coverage. Um, it, it doesn't make my skin feel any kind of way. It doesn't make it feel dry, dehydrated, greasy. It, it feels absolutely fine. My skin feels really smooth. I just don't like the way it applies. And I, I have noticed that in here, there's sometimes that you can see it sort of grabbed hold of areas. I, I'm assuming areas of dryness, it's sort of a bit patchy, but at a normal distance from me, I don't think it's something you'd see. You know, it's something only I can see close up. Um, but when you put it on, when I put it on, it looks like it's gonna be really, it looks like, oh wow, this is terrible. This is really patchy, you know, cause you're rubbing it in and thinking, okay, I can see a bit there, but I can't see a bit there. It's really, really hard to explain. Hopefully you saw it in the video of me applying this that, like I said, it doesn't feel like it applies great, but actually the finished result with a bit of powder over the top is really nice. It's quite a thick product. You know, you probably saw there with me putting it on. It's, it is thick, it's not a, a lightweight feeling one and when you put it on or when I put it on anyway I was thinking this feels really thick you know I'm just like I don't like the feeling of this but like I said it's really doesn't matter that much because it doesn't feel like that once it's on and kind of set and you've put a bit of powder on top it doesn't feel any kind of way it didn't you know it didn't budge like it looked the same for the rest of the day even if that was with little bits of patchiness here i mean i think at the end of the day i looked at it and it had like any foundation would it was a little bit patchy on my skin you know, I can see even now my skin's a little bit oily um you know it, it broken up ever so slightly but not more than anything any other foundation i've used i haven't tried this under a foundation um and that is because of how thick it feels and how good a coverage it gives so that's that's a little bit of a downside because my aim wasn't to buy something that I could use as a foundation um, or instead of a foundation. It was just a sunscreen that I can put on my face and neck under my foundation. But actually, I've been really enjoying using it and having a bit of coverage. So I'm definitely going to use this up, but you know, I've got so many to try that I will move on to another one. And I like to use it for a good week before giving you guys a review. Um, but I'm definitely gonna keep it. I'm definitely gonna use it up. Um, and I actually think it will be quite a nice one to use on off days, you know, on days where we're just going for a, a dog walk or whatever um, to give me some coverage. I was tempted to try the matte screen. It would be interesting to try that. It'd probably be good, you know, in the middle of summer. Um, let me know if you've tried that because what my concern with that would be that my skin would be too dry because I suppose that's the other thing to tell you my well I think I said my, my skin wasn't dry but remember that I don't use a moisturizer underneath this I have been using the Versed brightening serum I'll usually use some kind of serum but I did miss this out one day and try um a number seven the little capsules of vitamin c and that's quite um 
not an irritating formula but it's not a moisturizing cream at all and I used this on top and this is moisturizing enough on its own you know it doesn't it gives you hydration my skin has not felt dry at all after using this for like I said I've used it probably for about a week um, but I don't know whether the matte screen one would be hydrating enough so yeah I think that's all I've got to tell you about that I know it's a bit of a mixed review because like I said I didn't see the first time I used it and then I was like, right, I'll, I'll need to use that tomorrow because I need to use it for more than one day before I give a review. But I was like, oh, I really don't want to use it tomorrow. You know, it was that kind of feeling. It was like, it just doesn't feel nice to put on. Um, but after realizing how good it looked on my skin and how well it dried, you know, how different it felt when it was when it dried, I, I was like, you know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. You know, don't bother when you're putting it on thinking, trying to get it looking perfect because it actually dries down. It reminds me of, I don't know whether you've ever used, I can't even remember what it's called, but there's this grey wallpaper that you can use that's a, an under paper. You know, it's what you can use under painting or underneath wallpaper or whatever, but you put it on walls that are uneven. And I remember my friend Anthony had come to help me I was getting this house done up and he'd come to help me and we got the table out and we were putting it on and I was trying to smooth it out you know the way you do with wallpaper and he said you don't need to do that with this backing paper or whatever it's called you literally slap it on as long as it's straight you don't worry about any of the bumps and lumps in it and the following day it's perfect it's absolutely magic you know you wake up I'm like how is that like I never smoothed anything out I was really nervous I didn't really trust him you know and he was like honestly leave it and the next day it looks perfect it's kind of like that you know you put it on and think that doesn't look great but the minute you've got your powder on and everything's done it's like oh actually look, look that looks quite nice um let us know because my review is so woolly <laughs> please let us know what you think of this if you've tried this um, and how you've found it in the comments so maybe people can get a bit more reassurances about what it's exactly like um i'll list all of my makeup etc in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon